Hey guys, hope everybody's been doing well. In today's video, we're gonna do a size comparison of two very popular Anchor chargers. On the right, we have the Anchor PowerPort 3, and on the left is the Anchor PowerPort PD Nano. I know it's a mouthful, right? And why am I doing this video? If you're like me and you recently bought an iPhone in the last year or two, you'll quick, quickly realize that they no longer ship with a charger. And instead, they come with a cable, a cable that is the lightning, which is crazy that the iPhones still have a lightning port. And the other side is a USB-C. And, and Apple claims that they don't ship the charger because everybody has a ton of chargers. Does that make any sense to you guys? So they ship something that we can't use because we already have a lot of these things. This is a the old school five volt, one amp, USB type A chargers. And if you're like me, we have a bunch of type A chargers at home, not USB C's. Um, so why not give us like what they comes with the iPad Air, the iPad Pros, a nice new 20 watt charger. No, they, it's the envir environment guys are thinking about the environment. Uh, it's okay that they ship it with the iPad. They're not worried about the environment but for some reason, they're worried about the environment with the iPad Pro. That doesn't make sense, right? I know it's, it's stupid, but I won't belabor that. Um, but why am I looking? I do have a bunch of chargers that I do wireless charging at home for my phones, but there's times that I, I want a fast charge, as well as something to keep in my portable bag when I'm on the go. So one of these faster chargers, I'm going to set this out again. This is the PD. This is the PowerPort 3. This is the Apple, the Apple 20 watt, and this is again the Apple historical 5 volt 1 amp charger. Now I want to do the size comparison because I want to show you guys. This is something I could not find on the internet. I looked and looked and looked because I was going to buy a couple of these anchors or these PD nanos. I settled on the, the PowerPort 3s just because they were cheaper and because they fold. But I couldn't see a good side-by-side -side comparison as far as physical size. Because if you're like me, you want to throw it in a small camera bag or a, a go bag, you want to see the size. Now, what are the specs? So I'm not going to do this crazy charging video. These are crazy slow. This is just here for an example, a size example. Because I think a lot of you probably have or know what, what this one is. These three all have the same rated capacity as far as charging goes. It's, uh, what is it, 5 volts um, and 3 amps, so that's 15 watts, which is crazy, right? Remember the big old, old school 5, um, uh, 3 amp, 5, 5 watt br bricks from Apple? This is just a fraction of the size. So 5 volt, 3 amps, 15 watts. Or if your phone supports the fast charging using 9 amps at 2.2. Now this, this one, this one, and the Apple charger is all rated at the same. Again, the 5 volt 3 amp and or 9 volt 2.2. The 2.2 gives you a 9 volt gives you that 20, 20 watt claim to fame on these three here. So what the phone does typically, if you have a newer phone, all phones start out at like the 5 watt and, or I'm sorry, five volts. And then after a, while, after a little while, it detects the, the fast charge capabilities and then it ramps it up to nine volt. So you get that full 20 watt um, horsepower behind your, your charging, right? So again, this is about size, not necessarily how good they are and how fast they charge. I have read some reviews that the original Apple charger slightly tiny little bit is faster than the anchors. So I'm gonna set these aside. Well, actually, I'll leave those in the picture just so you can kind of see the size comparison. And that's what this video is, really to show you a size comparison because I wanted the smallest one that I could find, uh, especially for my to-go bag, not really care about the house too much. And I bought this one originally, and then I was hit Best Buy. I said, whew, that one looks smaller. I thought they were the same size um, because this one folds the plug folds. That was one of the reasons I got it. I said, this looks kind of smaller. All right. So this is looking at the front. This is looking at top down. Kind of a side angle. Yeah. 
here's a side angle video for you. Now, Anchor's claim to fame is that this little, ah, grabbed the wrong one. That's how close in size it is. This PD Nano is about the same size of that. And it is, if you look at these side by side, it is a little bit longer, like a tiny bit longer. Let's see if you can make it out here. Just slightly longer and just slightly wider than the old school Apple one amp charger. Now, comparing these two, it's a pretty substantial amount as far as the size. And yes, this folds down. So let's look at storage capacity. This one took a little bit off the sides. So it, I'd say it's about 15% smaller all around. And then if you compare it to the Apple charger, it's just huge. They claim, I think, 45% smaller. So this isn't a huge long video, guys. Again, I just wanted to show you a comparison. If you're looking to pick up a couple of these just to have on the go or around the house, give that, that, that iPhone a fast charge when you need it. So good options, affordable options. I'll leave some links in, in below, but this one I think I bought like two of them for 20 bucks, so like 10 or $12 each. And this one, it's a little bit more expensive, I guess, for the size. They probably have the same electronics. This PD Nano goes for about $14, something like that, $15, depending on the day. You know, Amazon, it varies between a couple bucks, uh, just depending on what day of the week it is and how the sales are going or whatever their, their metrics and logic has. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions about these chargers, leave them below. And thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye.